Bangkok, a city of over 10 million people. Known for its vibrant culture, temples, and street food, not for earthquakes. But recently that changed. A sudden tremor was felt across the capital, startling residents and raising urgent questions. What caused it? How far did it come from? And most importantly, could it happen again? In this video, we're diving into the science of earthquakes and uncovering the surprising truth behind what just happened in Bangkok. Earthquakes are nature's way of releasing tension. Deep beneath the Earth's surface, massive slabs of rock, called tectonic plates, are constantly in motion. But they don't move smoothly. They grind, press, and lock together at fault lines, storing up energy. Eventually, that stress becomes too much, and snap, the plates slip. The energy is released in a burst, sending shock waves rippling through the Earth. These waves are called seismic waves. There are two main types, P waves, the fastest compressing rock like sound waves, S waves, slower but more destructive, shaking the ground side to side. The point underground where this rupture starts is the focus, and the point directly above it on the surface is the epicenter. But here's where it gets interesting. Even if the quake happens far away, those seismic waves can still travel hundreds or even thousands of kilometers. That's key to understanding what Bangkok just experienced. At first glance, Bangkok seems like a safe zone. Thailand is not located on a major tectonic boundary, but the reality is more complex. To the west of Thailand lies the Indian Plate, colliding with the Eurasian Plate, a collision responsible for forming the towering Himalayas. To the south, the Sunda Megathrust, off the coast of Sumatra, marks one of the most active subduction zones on the planet. This zone produced the catastrophic 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami. Even closer, Myanmar's Sagang Fault, a large strike-slip fault, is known to produce powerful quakes. The seismic energy released in those regions doesn't stop at borders. So what happened recently? Reports confirmed that the tremors felt in Bangkok were caused by a moderate to strong earthquake that struck northern Myanmar at a depth of 10 kilometers. Even though it was over 600 kilometers away, Bangkok felt the tremble. Why? Because of what lies beneath the city. Bangkok sits on a thick layer of soft clay, sometimes called a basin amplifier. These soft sediments act like a bowl of jelly, exaggerating the motion of incoming seismic waves. Even low-level shaking from distant quakes can feel stronger than expected. Think of it like this. Drop a pebble into water, and ripples spread. If the water is deep and calm, the ripples continue far. In Bangkok's case, the soft underground layers allow the seismic waves to persist and bounce. That's why buildings shook, windows rattled, and people in high-rise apartments felt vertigo, even though the quake's epicenter was far away. Some older buildings aren't designed to handle these tremors. Fortunately, there was little to no structural damage, but the event has raised serious questions. While Bangkok isn't considered highly earthquake-prone, it is still vulnerable to regional quakes. In fact, similar tremors have occurred before. In 2011, a magnitude 6.8 quake in Myanmar sent shocks through northern Thailand. In 2014, a 6.0 magnitude quake struck Chiang Rai province, causing local damage and panic. And now, once again, seismic waves have made their way to the capital. Experts warn that preparedness is key. Even if Bangkok doesn't sit directly atop a fault line, it's part of a connected geological system. And that means education, awareness, and stronger infrastructure are essential. Safety tips. Secure shelves, heavy furniture, and electronics at home. Learn basic evacuation routes and safety zones. Keep an emergency kit with water, food, flashlight, and first aid supplies. And most importantly, don't panic. Drop, cover, and hold during shaking. Modern science is working on early warning systems, which can give people vital seconds before the shaking starts. Japan, Mexico, and even parts of the U.S. already use these technologies. Thailand is beginning to follow suit. Earthquakes remind us that we live on a restless planet. A tremor felt in Bangkok isn't just a moment of shaking, it's a wake-up call. A reminder that even cities not known for quakes are still part of Earth's vast tectonic puzzle. Science doesn't predict when the next quake will happen, but it helps us understand why and how we can be ready when it does. Thanks for watching. If you found this video informative, give it a like, share it with friends, and subscribe to Earth and Beyond for more explorations of our planet's mysteries. Stay curious. Stay prepared.